School, to many students, is a game. It's a game of collecting points and leveling up. Points give us rewards from teachers, parents, and universities love them too. As a teenage student in the US, I liked lots of games. School was one of them. I knew the rules of the game and learned to collect maximum points. My pursuit for excellence was solely based on grades, and this made school a game I could win. It wasn't until my second year of college that I stopped worrying about the points and focused on my learning and interests. Collecting points alters the focus of schooling from something that is enjoyable, that encourages creativity, to something that thwarts it. Research on creativity has consistently found that extrinsic motivators like grades or rewards actually decrease motivation and creativity. Whereas intrinsic motivation works much better because instead of worrying about the context of the task, students can actually focus on the task itself. Our students get so fixated on their grade notifications that they see no reward in exploring their creativity. If they think creativity is not valued and don't have permission to test the scope of their creativity in school, does this thwart creativity, period? We teachers feel the pressure of the grade game with the stress of producing good results. In practice, this means that fostering creativity is eclipsed by the pursuit of excellence in grade results or through grade results. All of us have the seed of creativity in us, but if it's not nurtured and encouraged, belief in the creative ability can wilt at a young age. This worries me. At the age of 10, tired of takeout di dinners, Flynn McGarry decided he wanted to become a chef. So he watched YouTube videos, read blog posts, read entire cookbooks, all of this trying to learn different recipes so he could max, master all these complicated cooking techniques and diligently just practice and learn. His parents supported his learning by converting his bedroom into a kitchen. By the age of 13, Flynn's pop-up restaurant, Eureka, moved to New York City. Five nights a week, he was serving 16 course meals. So what supported his creativity to flourish? Sadly, none of the things that inspired him came from school. Instead, it came from his desire to learn and from his parents' ongoing support. School wasn't an option for Flynn. And with the support of his parents, he dropped out and finished his learning online. Explaining why he dropped out to become a chef at such a young age, he said, it's a weird contradiction. I wanted to learn as much as possible, but I didn't want to wait too long. Cooking is a constant source of creativity for Flynn. He wants to master the techniques. He wants to try new things. And it's all about the creative ideas. Should our students have to wait to pursue their real interests or feel it's necessary to drop out because they don't have the permission to be creative at school? Here are some other examples of young innovators that followed their creative passion outside of school. So, what role do schools play in fostering student creativity? How can school become a fertile ground for creativity? rather than the place you have to leave in order to be creative. Instead of being about the numbers game, school can become an enriching environment where young people can shape and direct their learning. Students can only begin to be creative when they feel they have the permission and a genuine responsibility for the direction, depth, and scope of their learning. To allow for this, we need to give students the permission to ask questions that are meaningful to them. Then, we need to give them some time and space to answer these questions because inquiry doesn't have time limits. If we give them rubrics, if we give them this, there isn't time limits. But true inquiry and schools need to learn this. Schools are often slow to change, but as teachers, 
We don't have to be. Even small changes can plant the seeds for creativity to grow. What things do we already do and might we further do that allow our students the opportunities to create and innovate? Creativity and innovation can only happen when students feel encouraged, nurtured, and inspired to allow their ideas to flourish. Only then can we be invigorated through a shared passion of constant inquiry, creative exploration, and innovation, and not so fixated on the grade game. Thank you.